I became an amputee at the age of 46, which was three years ago. Uh, it was following a, a motorcycle accident many years earlier. Uh, I lived with the injuries from the motorcycle accident for about 17 years before I uh, decided to go ahead with the amputation. The injuries that I had were deteriorating over time and I was finding uh, walking more painful and I was having to use a walking uh, stick, which I hated. Uh, taking a lot of painkillers just to uh, function. So finally decided to go ahead with uh, the amputation. It was both difficult and easy to make that decision. Obviously it's a very scary thing to go through, uh, but I knew that a planned amputation was going to be uh, much easier than a traumatic amputation. And it totally changed my life. I very quickly was able to wear a prosthetic and was walking well, and walking pain free. Um, ups and downs, as every amputee has when they're trying to get the fit correct uh, on your prosthetic. Uh, but then it opened up whole new doors for me that I didn't even know existed. So I uh, carried on training with my pole um, and competitions that I entered and won uh, as a disabled polar were amazing. Um, I've done some different film projects with companies who are interested in my story. Uh, I now have a, an agent, worked with some amazing photographers. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been totally life-changing. My life has improved so much. Uh, and now, three years later, um, the prosthetic fit is amazing. I walk a lot, I cycle. So I love my prosthetic leg. Um, and I never have a, a prosthetic that's trying to look natural. So the most important thing I do every day to keep pushing myself is getting out of bed, routine. Uh, routine is the most important thing for me. So uh, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is, I get up out of bed at the same time, have my breakfast, go out for a walk, uh, do some training, um, try and set that routine up in your life. That's what keeps me going. Um, we've recently had a, a lockdown uh, from coronavirus uh, in the UK uh, for three months. So I haven't been working. 
Um, and it really kind of messed with my, my daily routine, but gradually kind of kicked back into routine and it kept, it's the thing that kept me going. Very important to keep pushing yourself and keep active. I think as uh, an amputee, especially as a new amputee, it's very easy to sit and wait for everything to heal and settle down. And of course, that's super important. You can also have the rest of your body to work on. Super important to keep the rest of your body fit and healthy. Um, to make sure that you're strong and that your body doesn't deteriorate during that healing period. Here in the UK, we're very lucky that we have uh, what's called National Health Service. Uh, it's uh, free access to healthcare, um, all healthcare services, and it's open to everybody that lives here. So I go to the prosthetic centre, they do my fittings for me. I don't have to clear that with insurance. I just make an appointment, I go, we make a new leg. When I need a new liner, I make a phone call, the new liner is de uh, delivered out to me. Um, I get a great prosthetic leg from them, I'm tailor made to my life. So uh, the prosthetic that I have via the NHS, our health service, uh, is an amazing uh, prosthetic. It's for a, a high-end user, so somebody who's very active. So it's a sports foot, uh, but it's a, sport foot, it's a sports foot that you can wear a shoe with as well. Very lucky to have that foot. It's, uh, it's lightweight, springy. Uh, it's also very expensive. But uh, we're lucky here. We, we, we don't have to think about insurance. And then I also work with a private prosthetician uh, on prosthetics that I personally want. Um, and yet yeah, they're self-funded and they yet yeah, they're expensive, but they're the kind of limbs that I really want. So I love blades. Uh, so I have a couple of different blades, both of them different with different sockets. I like fancy patterns on my sockets. So I like to change things and mix things up. Um, and it's amazing that I'm in a position where I can afford to fund those limbs. It's definitely made my life easier having access to those kind of services. Um, and being able to wake up in the morning and not only visually choose which limb I want to wear, because the visual is very important to me. I really like how the prosthetics look. But if I'm doing a particular activity that day, if I'm doing a lot of walking, um, or if I'm cycling, I wear a different leg depending on which uh, uh, what activities I'm doing that day. What pen to do is incredible. I think um, being able to repurpose uh, unused or unneeded prosthetic limbs and uh, give access to people who do not have any kind of access to those kind of limbs uh, is amazing. I personally can't imagine being in a position where I have no access to, to the thing that's gonna help me walk down the street. Uh, so the fact that charities like Penta are collecting up unused uh, limbs and giving those people access is, incredible. I take it so for granted that I wake up in the morning and I have a limb to put on.